I love my dog, and she's incredible. She's also a little bit of a pervert, I'm not going to lie. It's disgusting. She's so weird. Whenever we start hooking up, I can hear her collar jingling down the hallway like a prison guard with the keys when they know the boys are being bad, you know? Like, whenever we start hooking up, she'll start running to the room, and we have to close her out. But still, she's persistent. You'll hear her under the crack of the door just... <laughs> like a detective. It's twisted. The moment that we're done, the moment we're done hooking up, I'll open the door. The dog will come in the room, jump on the bed, and go right to the wet spot. And she's like, get her off the bed. And I'm like, let Scruff McGruff figure out the crime. <laughs> Who done it, Scruff? <laughs> Was it the ginger general with the lead pipe in the ballroom? Who did it? This episode of Whiskey Ginger is brought to you by Rabbit Hole Distillery and their original works of bourbon. What I love about Rabbit Hole is that they view bourbon as an artistic expression, a portfolio of one-of-a-kind mash bills using signature and malted grains. Every one of their delicious small batch expressions is aged in charred and toasted barrels. Not just one of the two, both. They just celebrated their 10-year anniversary, and unlike most brands, they've been making their own bourbon and rye expressions in Kentucky from day one. This is the jazz that I like, the high gold. It's so very good. For its price point, it's absolutely delicious. I gotta tell you, um, they reserve... Uh, themselves to be making some high quality sauce for quite a long time uh, and it really is good. They also have a new product out other than their four unique expressions called the Race King. It's the third expression of the Rabbit Hole Founders Collection series and it was named in honor of Kentucky's time-honored tradition of horse racing, baby. Uh, proprietary malting process, chocolate wheat from Germany, from Germany and a chocolate barley from the UK, don't know what that accent was, but achieved the aromatic notes and rich essence of chocolate when cooked according to Rabbit Hole's own methods and met with aging in wood-fired, toasted, and charred new American oak barrels. Flavors will blow you away. It is so delicious. They sent me a bottle. Only 1,305 bottles were made, so finding one of these might be tough, but go to rabbitholestillery.com slash drizzly. You can find it if you can get one in your area. Use that promo code rabbit for $5 off your first order. Once again, if you want to know where this is, go to rabbitholestillery.com slash drizzly. Use that promo code rabbit for $5 off your first order. Order, drink up, drink responsibly. Come on down the rabbit hole with me. What up, Whiskey Ginger fans? Welcome back to the show. If it's your first time joining the show, welcome to the show. Man, do we got a good one for you today. Like my man Steve Harvey done say, it's the boys, the New York boy toys. Joseph DeRosa, Chris Stefano, and Sal Vacano. I got a three-way, baby. It's a four-way, but it's a threesome with them, and I was just watching the whole time. Hey, you like comedy. That's why you're here. Please watch my special on Netflix, Cheeseburger. Watch it right now. Please tell people, spread it around, tweet about it, Instagram it, uh, double like it uh, on Netflix and tell everybody you know about Cheeseburger on Netflix right now. Please go watch it. Uh, that's enough rambling from me. Let's go to me and the boys in New York. In here, we pour whisk, 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 whisk. Creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me five dollars for the whiskey and seventy-five dollars for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger, I like gingers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guests today are some of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I mean it once again today, ladies and gentlemen. It is Sal Volcano. Joe DeRosa and Chrissy Chlamydia in the house. Oh, Christoph Stefano. We're Woo! doing it from a, a very tense room. Uh, yep. Joe doesn't have the mic to his mouth because yep. I he just did a recording and a little yelled. upset at Sal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tune in. It's yeah. the episode It's the episode of it's text, text versus messages. calls. Yeah. Text mer messages versus phone calls. Yep. Woo! It got heated. It's the, yep. heat, it's it the most heated hot. taste buds ever it's got. It's the most yeah. heated taste buds ever. It, it might have topped weed yeah. alcohol, which was yeah. very yes. ugly. And don't worry about it because there was a lot of talk off camera about deleting certain parts. It got very personal, but Andrew and I recorded that from yeah. off camera, so we have. So that. we're putting it in no matter we're what. We're putting in the whiskey ginger. The idea that some some people think that something should be cut out is true. You should cut some stuff out, right? But we're leaving all that in, especially when you make that comment about yeah. juice. I'm going to leave the juice stuff in because yeah. that's so disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know you were Joe, that guy. And I but think after this episode, is is. I think it's actually going to be great for you because of, I think after this episode, people are going to say you're the new Meghan Markle. 
And I think that <laughs> it's funny to me that you've never seen that. Episode. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, nah. Nah. Cat out of the bag. He's never seen a single episode of Taste Buds. Because why on, would I watch that? He's bullshit. railed on the yeah. juice for uh, 108 and eight episodes. What? Yeah, you think he, just now that's something? Scumbag. Yeah. yeah. Are yeah. you drinking Schweppes? First of all, I have seen that's Taste Buds. That's all you had in here. That's not true at all. It's Venetia's fault. The uh, studio stinks. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got yelled at Chris. Brick. No, Chris like got it. a phone it's, call it's, from the people downstairs at a chandelier store, which isn't a yes. real store, by the way. Obviously, a no, front. It's a mom, mom How many front. fucking chandeliers? Who's buying chandeliers? Zero people. You Literally ever bought a chandelier? Zero people. No. You have though. I shouldn't. I shouldn't even. I, I have three chandeliers in my house right now. Describe. One. Describe them. Sure. Uh, in the entryway. Uh, What's called a. The foyer. 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 Yeah. foyer. Or a vestibule. No. 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 All right. A kind of a. Art Deco bulb situation. Beautiful. Uh, in the in the bedroom, I have a beautiful crystal uh, kind of glass situation. <laughs> in the bedroom, and then over in the dining room, I have a much more modern uh, circular light situation. Wow, yeah. very nice. Now, what what's your lighting situation in your place, Joe? No, no chandeliers. I'm LED not allowed, strips. I'm not allowed to have. <laughs> yeah. Joe lives over LED a, strips <laughs> underneath the bed. Joe lives over a dumpling shop. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm Bobby not allowed, lives below you. Yeah, I'm not allowed to have anything <laughs> that I would be able to to hang myself from. No, let, let me let me let me tell you something though. Let, <laughs> let, let me jump in here. Joe's actually he's got a, 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 a his apartment's small, but honestly, you have one of the tidiest. Like you have the way you have your apartment set up. You have so much stuff and it's organized so well that it's it's almost like a little like when you walk into his apartment, you're like, wow, this guy's got his shit together. I like how you talk about me like I'm a man that was released from some sort of program <laughs> yes. that's able to now function on his own. Yeah. Were, were you? Were you a little bit? It might have been. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, yes, I'm the only one of the three of us that cleans. does not have a house. Yeah. Do you clean? Look at his curl. Clean. It looks like a pigtail. <laughs> <laughs> I see like a stink. tail of a pig. I started today. Dude, we're going to go to Bilotto's after this. Yeah, we'll go out fine. to dinner. We'll have we'll fun. Dinner, I started today. Can I tell you how I started yeah, yeah, today? Yeah. I woke up at 6.30 a.m. with anxiety. And then I looked at all of your Instagrams and compared followers. And then why I looked you, at mine and I wanted to. Are you a lunatic? I wanted to what? cry. I wanted to cry. Okay, well, how about this? Everybody okay, who's listening is, right you, now. You came in with first baggage. First of all, yeah, he did. Jesus. You came in I with baggage. I didn't come in with baggage. I'm, I'm happy for you. you what, say, what do they first, say? Comparison is the something of the. Thief of joy. Yeah. Comparison. I, Teddy Roosevelt. You've been yeah. listening to Chrissy Chaos. I appreciate that. <laughs> Comparison is the thief of joy. Can I say something to you? Yes. We're going to get into the throes of this. And these guys can be witness to this. So over the last couple of weeks, Joe's. Joe and I have talked over the phone yeah, a bunch. Up tight. And we've texted. That's right. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> we've talked over the phone. I've sent you guys letters. And I, yeah, yeah, that's, we don't, that's those pigeons thing. don't make it to LA. <laughs> but, I, but I will say this, Joe, uh, to be serious about it, because I want to dig into it. Sure. Joe uh, had spoken to me about something personal and private a couple weeks ago. When he, did, when he came inside that girl? Correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jewish girl, mind you. Yeah, Machine. And then we talked the other day because Joe's having um, New Year's feeling, New Year feeling about his boozing. Yeah, boozing, which is yeah. way better, by the way. I think your drinking has been nothing but improved. Well, he's getting not that it was ever bad. He's getting better at it. Is what he thinks. Oh, he's is the drinking problem. more, more, oh, and okay. being better at. I think. Well, here's here's to clarify. Thank you, by the way, because it's been you. nice talks. The, uh, what I was saying to Andrew was, I go, I've cut back in my um, uh, uh, times that I've part the, the frequency I've cut back. Right. But the amount I swing for the fences, because I'm, I, I go, I go, it's like if you had a cheat day on a diet. And then, you're not like, doing it as much. So when you're doing it, you're like, let me do it. Yeah, he's ripping. Yeah, so I was like, if it's like if you had a cheat day for your diet and you were like, okay, I'm going to eat a whole cake in the morning. I'm going to eat a whole pizza for lunch. I'm going to eat a whole stromboli for dinner. That's what Chris does. Okay, I know. Yeah, Chris, I Chris, it's called a Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. After this, I want to talk about intermittent fasting. <laughs> you're both doing it. Uh, wait, you do I, it too? I was. But yeah. tell, but I tell went them, off of it for yeah. two days and gained everything. All of the way back. Well, no, because no, really? because you're probably getting on the scale with your keychain on. <laughs> <laughs> Can you unlock the, the entire downtown with that? Yeah, you yeah, have yeah. a key for everybody? <laughs> Joey's the yeah. superintendent of the Lower East Side. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the superintendent has more followers, right? <laughs> the, uh, He's got good content, though. He does, yeah. But like uh, but no, I, I just, you know, when I was saying to Santino, like, I was, I was now look, uh, New Year's Eve's a big night for anybody. Right. Yeah, yeah. And especially for me, I had a bunch of shows, then we had a big party at the bar, I, right. I, and I, I turned it up. But I was just so hungover on New Year's Day, and I was just like, I don't 
like feeling like this, man. And anxiety. I, that's what they call anxiety, it. Anxiety, and it's oh, depressing. Shit, anxiety. Anxiety. You're, it wasn't, you weren't looking at your follower. It, the chemicals in, are still in your brain. It takes a few days to pee it out. That's, that's right. another thing, too, yeah. is, is I was like, uh, I noticed for days after a, a drinking event, we'll call right. it, uh, that I don't sleep as well. Right. I'm yeah. like, I feel like I need like days to stay inside and like... Re- it's not good, man. I'm 45. I remember. It's just, it's yeah, not, I, you know? I, I hate that feeling. I had it every oh. time I drank too much. And I literally, the, one of the reasons I don't drink that anymore is because I was like, I'll ne- I don't ever want that feeling again. Yeah. I don't even want to tempt myself to be in a position where I wake up and I, I have like, I feel the shakes and I feel like, what did I do and what did I say? And I, and I, I, don't, I can't get back to my regular. How do you so why don't, why, don't we do, why don't you do sober buds? You'll do dry January. I'm, I'm definitely doing dry January. I know, but, but fuck dry January, because I think that's cliche. You think you go through January without making a phone call? <laughs> without what? <laughs> making a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to do dry January. We'll have to call a sponsor a few times. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do dry Jan, definitely. Pimpy's got Pimpy's, waters for Pimp, us. Pimp's Pimp, can I ask you a question? Love do you, you have Pimpy. more followers than DeRosa? Here, pass He, on. Has, <laughs> he has almost as many. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Wait, do it. Wait, thank you. Wait, wait. Here, do, thank uh, you. do you want a water? Yeah. No, you want a water? Yeah. Did you put oh, these waters on the note press card? No, no, he's got one. Throw it. Thanks, throw man. it. Throw it. <laughs> Kid's got hands. You know he's catching that. No doubt. Yeah. But but here's the thing. Here's the thing. The reason I'm going to do dry January is this is because I I have to I have to make short goals. If I start going all or nothing and, and I'm going to go for this many months, it's forget it. You can't. Have I, you ever talked to Burr about it? No. His perspective is. I mean, do you ever talk to him? He doesn't yeah, drink anymore. Yeah, no, not really. I mean, it's kind of interesting. Like, we sat one time and talked about, you know, like, control and drinking and he's stuff like that, moderation. While. Yeah, he's been off for a long, pretty much for as long as, you know, he's when he started. Because he said he wasn't going to, he's like, I'm going to chill out. And he just didn't like Old it Old Bird anymore. doesn't drink at all anymore? I can't speak for him. Yeah. But for, now he just gets the I boosters? Know, from what <laughs> Just keeps getting the new He's booster. His <laughs> yeah. From what I know, he um, he doesn't drink almost at all anymore. That's cool. Yeah, he likes a cigar here and there. But yeah, but when we spoke about it, he was like, you know, I just got tired of of feeling that thing, and I understood. And I was like, well, what I'm starting to do now, I talked to him about it over the phone, is to avoid that like letting it rip, where you're right. like just losing your mind. It's it's more moderation and just go. We are just going to have a drink at dinner, and then that's it. That's it. Right. And yeah, the, I, I think differently. I, I think yeah, the, you just drink a little I, I differently. I drink a little, like, wine now at dinner. Yeah, but that's... Or right. at the end of the night, a couple glasses to wine down. Children in France drink wine. Wine is not that big of a deal. How do you know it's, so much about kids in France? <laughs> yeah. Find that at patreon.com slash Christy Um, No, but you know what I think a big thing is? And after this, I would like to take a moment and talk to you guys about intermittent fasting. But um, what what a big thing, what a big thing is, is I think delayed gratification. I think that that idea of delayed gratification of saying, I'm not going to have 10 drinks now, it, it, it would gratify me. Instant gratification is never good, usually not good. But if you do the delayed gratification, what happens is if you have one or zero, you gra- you get that gratification the next morning because you're up, healthy, if, feeling good. I would say this. Yeah. W- w- this is what I would say about that. I, I, I smoked cigarettes the way I drink. I, I, I wasn't a pack-a-day guy. I just, but when I smoked, I smoked, and that was it. Right. And when I quit smoking, you ever I smoke? I did smoke. You, you never smoked? No. Never. I, and I, I love yeah. smoking. Yeah. I, I, I can't believe I smoked. I can never do it again. No. I did it for 10 years. When I, I, love when it. I quit smoking, I was like, okay, here's the thing. Like, I am tech. Cause, cause, and I have this with alcohol, too. Smokers, like real smokers, would be like, you don't really even smoke that. Like, what do you? And I was like, no, I have to stop because the times that I am doing it are having a really negative effect on me when I'm not doing it. Mm. Alcohol, I'm not saying I'm stopping forever, but. It's the same thing where I go, so the wine at dinner to me, I swear to God, I started to think about like, I was like, I wonder if they make like really high end like grape juices because I feel like I would get out of that what I want from the wine with the meal. Well, they have de-alkalized everything. They have de-alkalized all sorts of stuff. That's more what I want than There's a lot of spirit stores opening up that have de-alkalized right. spirits. You can buy that all the time. Mm-hmm. Now, I'll be honest with you, they, t- they taste like shit. Well, then, yeah, that's yeah. Wild. They taste like shit. I've tried. It, it's, aw- it's absolutely awful. Like, oh, I see, I don't understand. To me, it's like part of the flavor is the alcohol. Sure. Part of it. Like, O'Connor, who you guys know, 
who who comes with me sometimes and opens. Yeah. Does Reed he have more followers than Joe? Uh, oh, Chris, o Chris O'Connor. Because that podcast's doing well. Yeah, no, it's okay. doing very well. <laughs> Which podcast is it? I know. Uh, what's uh, Chris? Uh, Stuff Island. Stuff Island with Tommy Pope. With Tommy oh, Pope. Chris, Chris. Tommy Pope's, yeah. Pope's a handsome. Yeah, there's Chris O'Connor. So O'Connor. Right thinking of Sean O'Connor. That, one, that second something. one looks like his obituary pick. Can I tell you something? <laughs> I know, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's sad is the only two pictures are of him on the internet. right? Huh? He's yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's, of course, I know him. He's been in my home. He's great. He's, he's a great. Been, is that your home? Yeah, was oh, a good kid. He's great. And yeah. him and Tommy Pope so, are Tom, great. so what he does is he drinks NA beers. He drinks yeah. what is it? NA beers, non-alcoholic beers. So okay. when we're on the road, he doesn't want. And I don't really drink a lot before shows. And he had a little incident in Boston where he got a little too fucked up before the show. <laughs> and he brought a dude backstage who fell asleep there side you go. stage. And of New Year's, your New Year's Eve show? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Fell asleep. Wait, wait. He brought someone to the side of the Chris stage? Chris stumbled into the green room and was like, yep. he, he, he showed up and I knew he'd been drinking all day. I could feel it. Right. And I was like, dude. Yeah. I knew right away. And he goes, what? Yeah, yeah, that's what. The, yeah. And I was like, fuck, dude, you're yeah. fucked. Wait, he yeah. fell asleep? No, no, no. Chris, break, then I, I turn around and I go, who is this man? And he goes, he was with us. He, he knows, um, he knows um, Feidelberg. And I was like, where's Feidelberg? He's like, he went back to the hotel to go to bed. I'm oh, sorry, Feidelberg? Feidelberg. From, KFC from show. KFC show. From the KFC show. Oh, Feidelberg. Barstool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Barstool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feidelberg drove those to guys, Boston. Uh, those, those are, hey, guys. Fun guys. Right, What's up, Feidelberg? Feidelberg guys. drove. You're pretty cool for Feidelberg drove to Boston, <laughs> drove to Boston, <laughs> went bar hopping, and then went back to bed. Didn't even come to the shows. Oh my God. Drove to Boston to go to the shows with us. Yeah. Didn't even make it. Got wow. smashed. Let one of his friends come. Chris shows up with this guy. This guy is annihilated. Wow. Sure. He puts a chair you right- You got two shows to do. Yeah, we put, he puts a chair right down side stage. I'm not kidding. Within seconds. <laughs> you can hear him from stage. Wow. Snoring from stage. Man, that's so a Chris soldier. Had a tough, Chris had a little bit of a tough, so he drinks NA beers. So you had to speak to him about that. We had a little bit of a chat. You have to. We Wait, had a little bit drinks, of a chat. Because you can't do that. Drinks non-alcoholic beers since three days ago, you mean? No, no, no. He does it now backstage to control the drinking when he gets there. Because he this was rare that he showed up. He doesn't do this. Right. This but was, this was this New Year's. No, it just happened. Uh, I, I thought you were saying like since that happened, no, 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 he has made a switch no, no, no. to not alcohol. He's been doing okay. it for a long time now. But I got you. But he done yeah, that day. This he, incident that happened was, this it. was a separate occasion. Got but it. he drinks NAs. My problem is... They don't, everyone's like, they do taste, they know they don't taste good. Here's no. my problem. Here's my bigger problem with the one drink at dinner thing. In my opinion, so two things. Two martinis is nice. It's a waste oh my God. of one calories. One before, one during. Right. It's a waste of calories to me. I'm like, dude, if I'm not getting into it tonight, I'd rather spend these calories on French fries or something. Right, right, you know right, what I right, mean? Right, right, right. So like, that's, that's one thing for me. I'd Are you a calorie counter? My fitness pal, great it, app for calorie counting. I just see it as I just see it as pointless. It's it's Joe's on Weight Watchers. There's <laughs> are you on Atkins? How many there's one thing for <laughs> you on Deal a Meal or Richard Simmons. <laughs> yeah. Deal a Meal. I would enjoy. Please pick up Chrissy Chaos uh, Calorie Counter though. It's available online right it's a now. Good app. I would enjoy a cranberry and, and club soda as much as I would enjoy any mixed drink. What do you yeah, got? Yeah. Your, what do you got? Your period? Yeah. But here's the other thing. That's you. That's how you drink cranberries. Oh. But let me ask you this. Here's, but wait, wait, wait. Here's the other thing, and here's the difference in my situation versus the three of you. I have those two martinis at dinner. I thought you were going to say followers, but go ahead. I, yeah, I, I, followers. I, 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 yeah. Followers, <laughs> followers, house, houses, <laughs> homes, love. Lo oh, uh, Joe. No, just, Joe. <laughs> Joe, you just came in somebody. Who knows? Yeah. I didn't just come in I'll somebody. I'll be that kid's dad. What's one more fucking kid? He only did that, by the way, because she had less followers. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 that, yeah. I did it to increase my followers. <laughs> that's how Joe, uh, that's how Joe skims online. There's, there's a filter on Instagram for under 40,000 followers, and that's how Joe is like, Say it. I, I don't, actually, I have no idea how many Here's, followers. I, I, my friend Brian, who, my friend, I've told you about this. My yeah. friend Brian, who is a recovering alcoholic and was a bad alcoholic. Like, yeah who is on the pill, he takes the pill that'll make you get sick if you, you drink. drink. Yeah, I've wow. seen this. He's You'll hard. Th you, throw up. you throw up immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget what it's called, but he is hardcore sober. Even he said to me, he goes, dude, you're single, stop. Like, this is just, you live a different life. It'll change on its own organically. Nah. But- well, that's that's. I'm no, not saying he's you right. Gotta, you got to make the change. We heard. We know this from my change. Jackson. Powerful yes. change <laughs> comes from within. So my point is, is when you're saying you have two martinis at dinner, 
Uh, you know what I mean? You, you, you have you're a married guy, right? Yeah, but that's not the whoa, same. Whoa, whoa, whoa! My point Cut is, that part my, out. Oh wait, <laughs> yeah. Wait, sorry, is that it? <laughs> no, no, no. He's teasing. He's kidding. Okay, okay, sorry. I thought you but, said you're. Ma- well, I am, but he I, he doesn't like for me to talk about. You're him breaking up. Show. Yeah, it's yeah. over. He's he's just not a big fan of. <laughs> All this, right. Of my podcasts. point is, is like if you're at your dinner with your wife and yeah. you have two martinis or two whatevers. You have the wife, and you're there, and you go, okay, honey, let's go. It's time to go home. As a bachelor, I have two fucking martinis at dinner. You catch the tail of that last second one, you're like, I mean, fuck it, man. We're here. What are we doing? You yeah. know what I mean? And that's but, the problem. Yeah. But, yeah. but but see, yeah. where I disagree with him about it is it's not that she's like a being married in a relationship is like a easier stopping point. You just have to decide before it. So if you're out chasing and you're single and you're drinking you just start leveling it more you just have to slow it and level it well yeah and it's all about balance too you can say to yourself hey i'm taking one night a week to do that and then you know not let it bleed i know it's bad odds he's gotta have more than one night out there shooting you have to feel free to go where the the nights take you but then you just have to moderate in those nights yeah i I, and i might be able to do that but i gotta say even the one night a week thing you, what you end up doing is, and again, I'm not making any declarations here, but my point is, is even the one night a week thing, you end up swinging. You, you know what, dude? You have kids. This is actually a great point. You have kids? You've texted me. <laughs> Three, two of them are, I believe, mine. <laughs> You've texted me and it. said, like, dude, I went to the Knicks game last night. I got fucking housed. Right. Doesn't matter. The next morning, 6 a.m., you're yeah. up. You don't have a choice. My life circumstances make me get out of it. No. I can fucking... I have can some go, kids. Well, I don't know? have shit to do tomorrow. I'll cl- I'll pull the blinds down and order KFC. No, I don't give no, a fuck. No, but and that's that starts a <laughs> okay. bad cycle but, but, into the week. But, here, but here's my. But here's I might do it tonight. Why, no, why but, but, you're, but I think you do. Why have you pull the blinds down? Yeah, huh? He doesn't want people. You seeing can still him. have KFC with the blinds up. The way he I'm eats it like, is so sad. You, you know, you're hungover and you're just like. Yeah. Oh, and why don't you have a remote? Like you don't have motorized blinds. Oh, I forgot you don't have hundred thousand followers. I know. We got over hundred thousand. We got we got the sponsor. I mean, you guys are talking to go into Bolados tonight. I might go. Get KFC with my blinds down. <laughs> you gotta come to Belos. Get have some martinis, you pig. <laughs> All right, tell me. So, so regardless of what you do, we wish you well into this journey. Thanks. Well, you know? yeah, and we'll I see think how January goes. I, I think, I, I, but I, I got don't... Austin next week. It's it's gonna be a little tough. Oh my Wait, god, when are you in Austin. The thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, something like that. For oh, what? I'll for, be in Dallas for, for the Vulcan. In here. We pour whiskey, whiskey. Hey, I'm here to tell you about Vessi shoes. These shoes are a game changer. Vessi makes shoes uh, that truly do feel so comfortable and durable and have some style to them. Uh, they're unlike shoes of their category, I would speak to, because uh, these things have a sleekness to them and a look that is something you can wear casually. You could wear it when you're exercising or hiking uh, or whatever you're doing because... They honestly have uh, enough style where you can go in from one thing onto the next. They're 100% waterproof. Not water resistant, they're waterproof. Um, The boots that they just sent me are amazing because I went hiking with them, which is nice because Old Red sweats a lot. Uh, It features a rubber winter boot with a that's built in uh, to a sneaker, which is incredible. The style is sexy and sleek. They're waterproof and they're warm, lighter than most comfortable boots that you've ever had. And they added an inside uh, extra warmth lining to protect you from the cold. It was negative seven when I was in Chicago. Wore them, loved them, and they slip on and off. So it's quick and easy to get in and out, in and outside if you got the dog. They're made from Dymatex. It's a super soft knit material that keeps your feet warm in the cold, but cool in the winter, uh, cool in the summer, I should say. And it doesn't feel like it should be waterproof, but it is. You wouldn't be able to know. But dip your foot in something wet and find out for yourself. I do love Etsy shoes because they look smooth and, and sexy and sleek, and they're also very comfortable, along with the fact that they're waterproof. I like it very much. Uh, they're by my front door. They're what I used to take my dog out, so... If you want to get your hands on some of this, the Vessies are my go-to by my front door. Check them out in the link, Vessie.com slash whiskey for a pair of your Vessie shoes. That is Vessie.com slash whiskey. Vessie are my go-to shoes by the door and check them out in the link. Go to Vessie.com slash whiskey for a pair of your own Vessie shoes. Use that code whiskey for 15% off your entire order. Vessie.com slash whiskey. Hey, I've talked about Squarespace on this show. If you don't know what it is, It's the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. I've talked so much about Squarespace on this show. It's so so obvious how much I do really love it. I use Squarespace to create my site. The the second time I actually created a, a site for touring, 
I use Squarespace. And the reason I did so is because not only was it convenient and easy to use, uh, for a bozo like me, it also had these beautiful templates uh, that were laid out and, uh, you know, with the tools that they give you, it makes it so easy. They have member areas, appointment scheduling. They have a video studio where you can create these pro-level videos and edit and everything right there uh, in uh, in the video studio app on Squarespace. Engaging videos if you want to tell stories uh, and grow your audience and drive those sales. Along with email campaigns and social media accounts being connected, you get all these analytics, which I'm a huge fan of. They tell you where your traffic is coming from and where they were clicking, when they were clicking, so you kind of know your audience. It helps for me to find out where I'm coming to you on the road. So if this could benefit you when you're creating a site, if you're someone that's like, hey, I want to make a site and I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't know either. All you have to do is head to squarespace.com slash whiskey for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use the offer code whiskey to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, go to squarespace.com slash whiskey for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use the offer code whiskey for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Ginger. I like gingers. For the Vulcan. And then governors the following weekend, if this is out by the Wait, I'll tell you. This is, this is, I'll tell you exactly this comes wow, out. I'm going to be in da- Dallas and Austin. Aren't they right next to each other? Yeah, or no, they're it's far? like three hours. Oh, it's San Antonio and Austin are right yeah, next yeah, to each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You should have down from Dallas so to hang. Austin. I'm going to stay a couple extra days and do like Kill Tony. Why don't you do You know what you can do? Oh, you're going to? You can take yeah, a JSX yeah. down there. there What's like, a JSX? From Dallas to Austin, they have an in-between flight. A little like Really? A, I'll show you. A little little, little baby plane? But even that... Even that pimp just brought up, this was the last night of Caroline's I was there. And I hung out. I did a tell show. I, I drank with Jay. And then Jay split. And I, then Che had a show. And I drank with Che. And, dude, I had a fucking blast. And the all entire next day, all I did was worry about, you were there. And I was like, did I say something stupid to Caroline Hirsch? Did I say something stupid to Louis Fred? Right. Did I look like the guy that had nowhere to go because I stayed for the second show? Right. You know what I mean? And well, you just start- did, but did you? What? Did you do any of these things? Are you just constructing no, this I did reality? None of them. Well, then, so, so then you're projecting because you feel guilty. And that's my point. And my, even my worst alcoholic friends are like, dude, you beat yourself up. You're too hard on yourself. Just let yourself have a good time. And maybe all of this would kind of just even And then maybe you just do more therapy on working around while you beat yourself glass, up. Would Open, you? this up yeah. <laughs> Open this up for him. Open this up. Yeah, and maybe, Are you really no, do, pimp? Do not open this up. For, I was joking. The, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, dude, it's like you're in town, man. You think all I want to do right after we leave here, I know, is go pop a few with you. And I know, and you know what's so funny? Last night I texted you because I was at a restaurant right near your bar, and I said, "Are you at your bar?" I yeah, felt, I felt bad, bad that I couldn't, I couldn't oblige that. I just uh, I felt bad. You know, anyway. look, look, look. I want to see what you do. I don't think you should go. I don't think you should. The dry January thing, I don't think is a thing. You want to put it to a test tonight? Let's see. <laughs> Look how excited I am. There's something wrong oh, with Well, you me. know what I hope happens? I hope you get hammered and you start tweeting at the nurses again. <laughs> oh, God. No, but you know, it's. Uh... <laughs> well, talk, Chris, talk to us about intermittent fasting yeah, yeah. and how he can use so intermittent drinking. The way that I think. What about that... intermittent drinking? Yeah, intermittent but intermittent here's, drinking. The, here's your thing. Just okay. drink for only eight hours out yeah. of each day. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I understand alcohol is a different substance. And by the way, God, you're dressing like a lesbian right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good. I thought Megan Rapino was going to be on the show. So, so I think that. I think that. Too, you may think that you have a big. It, it, by the, the bottom line is, is if you think you have an issue, then it's an issue. Yeah, we all see it as you're just having fun. You're not like you're not. It's it's not as bad to us. But again, that's you. People Where make the joke to me a lot about alcohol. They say it to me like, and they're like joking. But like Sal, so, actually, when we and I'm not bringing up old shit, but when we battled uh, alcohol on the podcast. You you very vehemently were like, you take it too fucking far. You get so drunk sometimes on your birthday that you're swaying around and you know what I mean? I most likely was doing that for the for, for the, the show. Battle, yeah. I mean, but I'm not I'm not saying the guy's good to, at performing, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm know, not saying it to chastise. I I, 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 you. I, I I when I'm called for I, I, I perform. <laughs> Do it. Uh, I, I, you know what? You know what? If I didn't f- discover weed in 2018, I would probably drink more than I do right now. That's my bigger what? issue too, because I hate weed, and yeah. it's like I just can't. You know? What about ketamine? 
no way, dude. It's a new therapy out. You see it on Instagram. I know everyone it's does nuts. it, but I don't know. What about microdosing mushrooms? Why don't you do that? That, that might help you crack it. I yeah. actually wanted to microdose mushrooms because I heard that there was nothing better for your anxiety and, true. and whatever. What about doing but ayahuasca, it's not, too? Not, it's not legal yet, so you can't get them. It is in Denver. You just go to Colorado. What oh, do you I'm mean sorry, it's Oregon. Not I'm sorry. Legal. Microdosing mushrooms is like sort of Try legal, salvia. but it's not. It's, oh, I'm sorry. It's not it's FDA approved yet. Like the ketamine thing is approved. Like it's you can do. Yeah, it. but I mean, just ketamine what about, is approved. What about ayahuasca? Yes, is it, dude. It's is that a horse tranquilizer? No, on Instagram, I'm getting pop up no, ads for ketamine. ketamine therapy. Like legal. It, yeah. Like micro dosing ketamine. They have um this thing. Uh, it popped up on my Instagram what? today. It's a it's a psychedelic healing place in New York City but that's dude, legal. Ketamine. The ketamine thing. My doctor offered it to me. FDA like, approves new nasal it. spray medication for treatment resistant depression. Available only to certified doctors. Office yeah, or like clinic. you can do it. Holy shit! The ketamine shit. thing, dude. You trip, dude. Like but you, you have to be it. But you still. Do you remember ketamine? My doctor and- said to me, he goes, "Do you want to try it? Because I'm approved to do it." And I go. I need you to tell me right now, is it like a thing where like I'm going to like maybe freak out? He goes, it's a little intense. I was like, fuck that. I'm not doing but it. But he's dude. there. On, the doctor's there to probably. Have you ever had a bad trip, dude? Yes. It doesn't matter who's the there telling you The doctor stays there, okay. though, to be yelled at. He'll yeah. be there. Yeah. He's He'll a bunch of fucking yeah. eyes <laughs> fall out of his head onto the floor. See, look at it. It's used by medical practitioners and veterinarians as an anesthetic. It's sometimes used illegally by people to get high. That's if you use a, an absurd amount. Yeah. That's when your name is Louis J. Gomez. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Dude, I remember ketamine in high school. People would get in K-holes, yeah. right? Yeah, K-hole is what I assume. Yeah, K-hole, yeah, and they that. would get so yeah. fucked up. But that's when you take a lot of it. Joe, we're going to get you some ketamine. If anybody out there has ketamine... I want to try the micro dose of the mushrooms, but you can't get them. I, I can go send and them. Go to Oregon, Oregon and you, you can, can get them. I think that's illegal. You can get them. Yeah? Yeah, what's, you can get What's illegal? I think it's yeah, illegal for you to send them. Dude, Amelia was doing New Year's Eve in my green room. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, there's mushrooms Yeah, but was he doing them to get fucked up? Yeah, every my all my friends did them. Jazz might have taken a bite of one. Think he doesn't have kids. access to get you mushrooms. Come on, dude. no, get but I want the medical microdose. Have you ever done them? Have you ever? Done, I love them. I have them right. in the house. I've only done them twice. Mushrooms twice. Oh, you said I, one time you had a good time. Second one time, time didn't take. It, so I couldn't recreate the first time. That sounds like a two, two. That sounds like a two and zero. Oh. One time didn't take. It didn't affect you negatively. <laughs> yeah. Try it right. again. I take. I like them. I have them at my house right now. Mushrooms. Yeah, chocolate mushrooms. Right. I have, and it, I have them too. They're and, great. And have you had a bad experience on them or it's always pretty good? But I've did it. I, well, I would argue, I don't like to say bad experience. But, I didn't have the experience that I wanted to have. Yeah. But it's it still does something to you. But where, you're microdosing with the chocolates. I, I'm eating the chocolate small. Squares I wouldn't say I microdosing. Have, There's a, I think this is an, a mixed up term. I'll take very small amounts of, my, of mushrooms through chocolates. Microdosing is doing it. Uh, 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 for a t- period of time mm-hmm. in small doses. But did you ever take actual stems and and? Oh my! Stuff? Yeah, that's Caps. all I ever did. Okay, so you yeah, so you're but well. But you've versed. taken a full hit of mushrooms before with the stem and everything. <laughs> high school, right? High school. That's all you, I did uh, in high school. You was mushrooms. A proper side of mushrooms. High school, high school and college. I, all I did was mushrooms. But and you then, have to be intentional. In high school, you're doing it for fun. If you do it for a therapy and you're intentionally setting point, your though. mindset, yes, it yes, helps. Yes. He can't just do mushrooms now. He should do them from no, a, a segmented level where it's. Right. You, because because if you just eat a bunch of mushrooms, you, you you don't know the dosage that you're really getting for how the strength of be, them changes. Yeah, I was nervous about that. I had to be guided through it. Both times I did it at my house, I had a really wonderful experience. I Ayahuasca, like they say, is the big one. Oh, Ayahuasca. Fuck like, all that, dude. You don't want to do any of that? So no. Check this, this out. I know somebody. So anti hippie stuff. You? That's what? why. You don't is like someone that. someone getting a shot? You. Yes, you. You told me this. That the shaman will come. Come. Right. Yes. Right. I, I you. That, no, would, that you, shaman, would you consider it? See, look 100%. at this guy. Did, this, this guy did ayahuasca once, and that's what happened. And this guy's got, I mean, my take on he's it, got more followers. Wait, what, what's <laughs> going on? Who yeah, is this yeah, guy, Pimp? Who's, who's Anthony Lafredo? Oh, that's, that's a disease, Dude, bro. that guy looks fine. Yeah, wow. that guy looks like the type of guy Jasmine probably had sex with once. Now, is this that's, considered blackface? Uh, is this illegal? It's an alien face. Yeah. Because he said black alien. Why did he do that? He was a white guy before. Is that? I feel like that could be crossing so this is, a line. So he, he, in other words, he's made Dude, himself. Dude, he was, it's Stefano, he looks like he lived next door to you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that guy's definitely on the Patreon. <laughs> that's a, that, that person has a dissociative disease, right? He, he's, I yeah. Know. I mean, if you're no, making. No, you never know. Yeah. There's a guy that made himself look like Red Skull. I mean. I sure, yeah, do anything yeah. you want, but I mean, at that level, it's like that's going a little bit. No, like, it's insane. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess talk. God teach His own. Do your thing. Yeah, but. do your thing. In here, we pour whiskey, whiskey. Hey, boys! Valentine's Day is right around the corner. What are you gonna do? You gonna go to a restaurant? Are you gonna take her? Uh, you gonna take her to the beach? Are you gonna take her to uh, the mountains and overlook the city, the bright lights? Well, it's a hot day. But are you ready? Are you Roman ready for sex? Because strong sex life can depend on your 
feelings of intimacy with your partner and you want to have increased happiness, but you want to be Roman ready. Uh, Roman addresses a variety of sexual health needs for men. They offer genuine medication that help achieve, maintain a strong erection. Roman also offers discreet wipes that help you last four times longer in bed. You give it a little little wipe down and you're going to last four times longer in bed. Treating low testosterone can help uh, revive your sex drive. Roman has testosterone testing and treatment. Many, 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 many men suffer from low T. Not a big deal. Who cares? It's common. And they can help you. Uh, With Roman, everything is done online. That's also the benefit. Uh, No waiting rooms, no hassle. Roman sends everything right to your door with free shipping and discreet packaging so you can feel comfortable from the comfort of your own home, uh, getting the help that you need to feel sexually healthy, happy, and wise. To get ready, Roman ready, for better sex this Valentine's Day, go to ro.co slash whiskey. That's ro.co slash whiskey, ro.co slash whiskey today to get 20% off your entire first order. Do it by February 8th for guaranteed shipping in time for Valentine's Day. That's ro.co slash whiskey. Ginger. I like gingers. Venezuelan, man. Yeah, this guy from Venezuela. Oh, Jesus, Lord Christ. Beautiful. Jesus. Just, oh my God. (laughs) Gorgeous. I mean, what do you Imagine, do? Do they let him board the early? Do they let that guy board early? Is he group seven? He comes seven? to the desk, and you have to be like, <laughs> he's like women, children, <laughs> devils. <laughs> First class, sir, or coach. Would you like the kosher meal? <laughs> he's like, sorry, do you guys have oat milk? I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> that I mean, that person is signing up for dealing with that. 24 7 for every the second of, of the day life. you walk into a deli they look at you. you walk out of the deli they look at you <laughs> you get into a cab they look at you. you get to work they look at you you get to the airport they look at you, you sit next to somebody they look at you he's he's literally making it so that every person that passes him has to look at him and he has to explain himself over and over yeah. and over it's a form of torture why it's would you torture. do that to well, yourself? it's insecurity yeah. and narcissism that's what it right, is. Right, right. That's the core of all of that. Ugh. And that's the core of your alcoholism, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Probably. No. You're not an alcoholic. How do you find a partner there? Also, you know how like you decorate your living room, right? Yeah. You get a couch, you move into a new place, you get, and it's what you feel right then and there. Eventually, right. I don't care who you are, two he's years, a, he's five a big years, leather guy. six years, 10 years, 15 years, you're going to go... Ugh! I don't like this shit anymore. I don't. This is not some. I didn't notice it, but I don't like any of this. This right. isn't me. Yeah. What is he gonna do the day that he's sitting there and he looks in the mirror and he's like, <laughs> tired of this game. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to do this anymore. Yeah. Well, this, like, this this leads yeah, to a conversation is. about people being trans. Let's talk about it. Scroll scroll to that first guy. Scroll up to that first guy. What what do you yeah, what options no. are you leaving yourself then? Yeah. I, I mean, would. Would would Chipotle hire him? No, uh, no, uh, you can't. Pin, pinto or black? <laughs> <laughs> like, where is he working? It's just he, like, that's he, the thing. He dude. has to work at a place that does that to people. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. the only place that's he right. can work. That's right. what I was gonna say. Like, like there will be one of these. One yeah. of these guys will probably at some point be highlighted on 2020 or something where they're saying can't commit a crime i'm discriminated against because i chose this look and i should be able to do this and it's like dude well they should be able to get any job doesn't mean you're going to you should be able to be up for any. i'm saying if you've got a job where you've got a counter that you serve people from or or you have person interaction whatever and it's like dude i can't have the red skull you know, but like there's, you know, you know like, what though? I, there's, I have, I have, like I'm changing much. my perspective. I bet you anybody that goes to that great length, they have some other form of income that they do knowingly that well, they don't need. That's true. Too. You know what I mean? I bet you they I don't know, know about that, I, Pimpy. He's I not. A, they put I bet you dollar. they know they don't need the money or they don't give a shit about jobs. So it doesn't that they're not. This guy doesn't give a like fuck. Like that guy I could get, that guy I could put behind my bar with the spikes in his head. Oh yeah, okay, let's ask. You're like, a fuck, you're, you're an employer. Yeah. yeah so, that's because you're in the Lower East Side. That's the only place you can do that. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, really. at least the spikes, I'm like, you still look <laughs> yeah. like a human being. You, you throw him in a bar you're in Murray Hill? If that guy, <laughs> that bar's going out of business. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> That's yeah. true. But yeah, Red Skull, I can't put Although Red Skull Although you could let like frat guys bar. throw rings on it or something. You never. <laughs> let me you say this. Would you hire someone at your bar to serve food that had one arm? Just yeah, like a of nub? Course, of course. But doesn't think it grosses the customers out? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? What's the matter What a you? bad person. I don't know. Do they get a nub on a sandwich? Can you imagine a, a place that he runs? Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. yeah. You know that? You know that? Hey, you know that? You know that That sign that's like uh, tolerance, everyone accepted? Now that he's got the list of who can come in and who's not allowed to come in? 
<laughs> no, well, let me ask you for real. As a bar owner, the first guy, the Red Skull guy, if he said, I, I had bartending experience for 12 years, I traveled the world, oh, God, my I got God. surgery, right? I'm looking for a gig, will you, will you hire him? Are you afraid it's going to deter customers? Is that I why? Would take, I would have to pause on that. Look at me right here. Look at me right here. Look, just look at me. Okay? Yeah. Uh, let's say I'm looking for uh, this personal center. Even better, a nanny. I get a resume across my desk. Uh-huh. It's impeccable. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's 20 years of experience, accolades, 10 references of people that are high up in the food chain. This person is flawless. Maybe she even wrote a book on shit. Wow. Okay. She's, the, it, you'll never get a better resume. Ding dong. <laughs> what, do you, what do you what do you do what do you do she's got a, honors from columbia she she's Wait, honors but, from columbia but, but <laughs> she's she's written a book on being a nanny i got it already i will we have dogs unfortunately so this okay. is gonna work out but do you, yeah. what do you do there she's a cat what I, do you do when i go man we have a house full of dogs like, what do you do <laughs> what do you do <laughs> that's do you a do? he by the way i thought it was a woman it, it can be whatever oh, it wants to be man well it's a well, biological it male. Yeah, I mean, look, you you would I'm have sorry, to. Sorry, no letters, please. I'm sorry. You would yeah, have yeah, to. Yeah. You would have to pause for a moment and take stock of the fact that <laughs> it might. Hey, listen, I got the perfect guy. <laughs> okay, listen, this guy's my brother-in-law. Okay, he's never cheated on a woman in his life. He has a six-figure salary. The guy is physically fit. Okay, he cares about things. He's well-read. You're gonna love him. <laughs> just, 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 just trust me on this. Yeah, yeah. I gotta trust say, me. at just least ignore the hole in his head here. <laughs> yeah, at least he just whatever he did looks like an actual like legitimate physical deformity. Right? Yeah, poor guy. You know what I mean? No, like, this, no, no, dude. This is saline injections. Read above. You know what no, saline no, no. is? He's made that donut in his head. No, no, no. I know he has. I'm saying he looks like a guy that just had an unfortunate birth defect of some kind. No, no. You'd figure the out once cat, you saw the once you saw the spikes, you'd figure it out. The cat lady, you're like, oh, come God. on. Oh, but like, what are you supposed to do? You you, you you can't not think about like peep customers might be legitimately freaked out. But this like, is like, this see this is kind of hot. This is ropes in your back is hot. Oh. That's so gross. You could swing them from the ceiling of your bar, Joe. Yeah. Don't you have a tract up there? Yeah, we see those people put the hook in and swing. Oh god. It's, it's I can't take the stretching of the skin. I have nothing no, to do with it. It, it yeah. makes me nauseous. Yeah. I hate it. Well, I let me tell it. you something. I I'd like I'd like you to branch out and try to hire someone outside of the normal realm at your bar that looks unique. I think you should be less discriminatory towards these kind of things. Okay, I'm glad you think I should do because that. Because if you guys are going to Joey Roses, you I want people to go see someone that doesn't look like you. I, I thought you were going to say you'll be discriminated against. You'll be discriminated against. <laughs> <laughs> You, you've been down to Joey Rose yet? There's a I love there's it. a bartender that's at an avatar. Have you seen him? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so funny. Like this guy standing at my bar, me going, I refuse I reserve the right to, to refuse, refuse service to anybody. <laughs> like the guy in falling down. Get out of my bar. <laughs> No snake men allowed. It's like Star Wars where they won't serve the droids. I mean it's just fucking crazy. I do but I do think though, I I, I oh, like this that what you said of of the whole like the furniture changing. That anxiety that you're talking about is why I don't have tattoos. Oh, you don't have a single one. Not one. And I, and I still refuse to get one, even though over the years I've gone, maybe I'm, I'm 40. And maybe, I, you know, like, mm-hmm. oh, maybe the, but I, to this day, view it the exact same way where I go, I've never liked anything enough to keep it forever. And even still, if I was like, no, this means a lot to me, I was like, I'll reserve it in another way. I understand. I, 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 just, I could never do it. Like, but no, once you no get offense. one, you forget it's even on you. But like, you forget but, it's even on you, though. But you don't know. But no, but he sees it in the mirror sometimes and he doesn't like them. There's ones that you know you don't like. Bro, I have Jaden have- Smith on both of my thighs. Ugh. Jaden Smith, 15 years old and 21 years old. Why? Accurate portraits of him on my thoughts. Because I, had I, find, two, like, I had Willow. Smith. I had Willow on the back of my legs. Joking, I know. <laughs> no, I had two covered and altered that I didn't like. Yeah. All the other ones, no, I'm pretty, you know, I like them. Can I tell you the ones that I don't like? I mean, I'd rather you didn't. I, what, what good could, comes of that? Yeah, just honesty and friendship. What good comes of that? Lift up that sleeve so I can see what that one I is. I got a bad one. Five, five six, six, seven, seven eight. eight? No, just five, six, seven. Where's eight? There, it's not. That's it's not, not like a five, six, eight, seven, eight. No. eight. It's from the. It's from a pixie song about man, the devil, and God. This is why people get tattoos, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, to tell this annoying story. But over isn't it and over so funny again. that people look? I don't get the tattoo to tell you. It's like, but 
but there's, a little, but a little bit, yeah. But, a little, in the well, same way that this guy is like, yeah. I didn't fucking pierce my skull to explain to you why I do it. It's like I know, but because you live in a world with other people, right. someone's gonna fucking I, ask. That's why I regret my tattoos but, because well, people always are, ask me your, about them. Yours are absurdly stupid. Stupid, stupid. I have my neighbor tattooed on my arm, across on my back, like my fighting in the Crusades, and scripture. For, on my forearm. You I will your say neighbor? This. Yeah, he's, my yeah. neighborhood yeah, on his my neighbor. left oh, arm. Oh, neighborhood. Oh, yeah. God, it's brutal. You and, and the garbage. year I was born, 1984. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> Me and Joe have numbers tattooed on our arm. I would say this about tattoo. I don't mind talking about them. When I see somebody that has a tattoo that I like, I admire it. Sure. But it, what gets annoying is th- people ask the same exact question every time. What is it? What does that mean? And you're like... Does, do you really even give a shit what it means? Like, why do you care what it means? You well, what's what I mean? the context? If if a friend asks you, what does that mean? You're they, they're genuinely curious. Sure, it, it's very rarely a friend. It's almost always a stranger, right? And it it becomes like the thing with comics where somebody goes, "Dude, tell me a joke." If you came, yeah, tell, tell me, me a joke. joke. Or like, I know a guy that you would think is a riot. Oh, yeah. It just becomes so repetitive, and you're like, does every person think that this is the way to breach this subject right now? Like, yeah, but haven't you ever traveled the country? That every most people kind of think down the same line. So yeah, that that yes. Well, that's why. What's I, what's, what's that's the most the common thing? Part. As someone who is, you you are, you are famous in in a way where I'm sure because you've been in the TV eye of these of Americans for a long time as. As that person on that show, mm-hmm. which is not always 100% you, pe- whether people know that or not, you have a thing that people say to you or do with you that gets tiring and old. I'm sure people do a thing in public fans. Where, you know what I'm so talking about? So many things. Well, you, but I'm saying like, that's a tattoo. It, it's like, yes, everybody kind of has a thing. Right. Yeah. That, but it doesn't mean it's not annoying. Sure, but fucking then move where people don't live. No, but it yes. would be like... If, no, you want, if you want to never be annoyed again... You, but, you bought the ticket. You bought the ticket. Uh, take, take the ride. The ride. Yeah. I, 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 I partially agree. I'm not take saying, the ride. I'm not saying, uh, uh, uh. But it'd be like, what if you got the same question over and over about being a ginger? Would I do. Get, I, I, yeah. I, I, yes, right, I do. It doesn't get annoying after a while? Yeah, but it's, it's out of sight, out of mind. It's, like, it's the same way when somebody goes... When somebody yells at me on the street... When like, like a oh, dog. Gay Van Gogh. Like gay a Van Gogh. Gay yeah. Van Gogh. Yeah. And... <laughs> And I honestly, it's out of sight, out of mind. It's like, yeah. it, it, because it exists, you can't- let me, be, let me be clear. I am not saying I won't talk to the person when they ask it, or yeah. I'm not a dick about it. I'm just saying, I'm responding to you saying, oh, people go, I didn't get it for you. And you're like, well, you did. It's like, well, no, you didn't. But that does come with the territory. I'm meeting you halfway. I'm saying I accept that it comes with the territory. I agree with what you're saying. But I also didn't get it so people would go, what is that? Like, I got it because I was like, But you know no, some I of the beauty of cool. people t- doing that thing that you find annoying is? It gives us something to talk shit about and laugh about. Sure. That's half of the other fun of it is like, you won't believe what this moron said to me. I got such a bad one here. Let me see. Is the salamander one? Holy oh. shit. Is that yeah, it's fucking got a- awful? I need, I need Tribal on your ankle? When I got turned eighteen, but you almost never it. see a tribal on your ankle. What was your group that of friends like? like? It took forever too. There was some nice kids, but did I, they do that? My too? Dad took me. So my dad had just gotten a tattoo because he was turning like fifty or whatever. Yeah, my dad and got, he got a tattoo, and and he was like, oh, I got, if I got one, and, and I, it was illegal in New York until you were eighteen. So I, I turned eighteen, and oh, we went to Jersey. I mean, it was illegal, and I just went, and I didn't see anything I liked, and I was gonna leave. I think I've told you this before, and. the I'll tell you something right now. Tattoo parlors today, parlors, parlor, parlor, parlors. The parlors today, they're very amenable and kind. When when it wasn't like legal everywhere, they were this. This was the reputation. They were dicks. Tattoo artists were real dicks. Yeah, I don't know if you remember right. this. Like back no, in no, the day, I do. they yes, were like. I think they, the, the more arrogant places where they were, still dicks. Huh? You go to places where they still are dicks. It, no, I actually, I try to see places out where they're not. I used to have a bit about this in my ass. It was like a thing. Like the more arrogant they were, dicks. like, the, like the, maybe you thought they were b- a better artist or something like that. Like it, the level of arrogance matched the level of their skill right. set. Or something. That's what it was. Anyway, I was about to leave, and the guy was like, uh, I, "I didn't." I, I was like, "I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't see anything I like." And he was like, "Come on, you're not going to get anything." And he was like, "And then my, I wanted to." My dad took me, so I wanted to get something to you know. And I was like, "I don't know." Thank God I didn't do this. I said, I don't know, man. And I just said, maybe the Daffy Duck. Oh my God! Okay. I like Daffy Duck. He's my favorite cartoon. Duck. I know, but still, to still to this day, to the day. Really? Why is he your favorite? Why is he your like favorite? It better than Goofy? Goofy is Goofy's not a duck. Goofy stinks. Oh, your favorite? I think you said favorite cartoon character. Oh, that's what I thought you said. Cartoon yeah. Duck is yeah. my cartoon favorite. Goofy's, Goofy's your favorite out of the Disney's. 
No, Daffy's Daffy's Warner Daffy's Brothers. Daffy's Bugs Bunny. Oh, right, right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah are you Donald on your is... fucking mind fucking yeah. up Disney and Warner Brothers? Yeah. Donald is, way, what, way, what, what is Goofy? Donald's way better than Goofy. My favorite Goofy? cartoon character is Moana. It's Goofy's a dog, right? <laughs> Goofy's a dog. Goofy's a dog. Yeah. Goofy really stinks. You don't like Goofy? Wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Time out. W- w- why? He just stinks. Wait, why? There's just nothing to him. He what are you stinks. talking about? He's lovable. He's affable. He's he is he goofy stinks. and fun. He's Compared to Donald, what are we even talking about? Compared to Scrooge McDuck, what are we talking about here? First of all, Donald was so with far away ass. from Scrooge McDuck. Launch padded McQuack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, Goofy's great. He also has a range of emotions that you don't really get to see that, that much. Goofy. Right. And look at who he gets to clip. That chick is that. She's is that, not bad. That's Boofy. I don't know. Oh, her name's Roxanne. Roxanne, Roxanne. Yeah. What's wrong? I don't know. I think you're wrong about Goofy. I think you're just, you're Goofy's not awesome. I've never found, even as a kid, I never found Goofy. Goofy. I love them. Well, that's why you're depressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were mopey. No, he just is all, uh, I don't know. I just he never was, was into it. Like that's dog. what I've been trying to wear. <laughs> <laughs> Originally designed as a rumpled fedora. I never understood what that hat was because when I was a kid, it, almost, it, it looked like a hair tie. I thought that was like a hair tie or a chef's bun. <laughs> like he's putting his hair up to something. Yeah, the only uh, person worse than Goofy is Mickey Mouse. <laughs> what? What? Mickey Mouse is the only person worse than Goofy. In that. What, what do you think? What, uh, what, what, you like on Mickey? what do you not like about the guy? Mickey stinks. Did you ever see he's Tugboat? So Did you ever see Tugboat, uh, Tugboat Willie? Willie? That's when he was real. That's, That's when, when I <laughs> You yeah. liked him when he was... I liked, I liked, I liked. When he was racist. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> How can you not like this guy? Dude, every cartoon was racist. I, ju- I started watching old Popeyes. Oh my God. Dude. Oh my God. Crazy Don't racist. Even so racist. I swear to God, it was crazy. And, and all these old all these old cartoons, anything like before yeah. like 1940 or whatever yeah, it is, Disney, it is news. so crazy. Anything before like 2007. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that Disney is like le- modern Disney is leading the woke charge with like. The, like diversity, it, it is so insane to me. Like they are making up for such lost time right now. Well, they don't have a choice. Yeah. They're, 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 it's just the, the, the Walt Disney was like a known Nazi, right? But like they don't even have a choice anymore. I, was he? You don't know this? Oh yeah, I don't think it I was, was literally supported the Nazi party. Financially literally supported, supported the Nazi party. I, 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 There's it, proof of it it's online. Proof of it. It's, it's yeah. literally the. I found that. Why, 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 why aren't they canceling them? Because he's dead. Yeah, but the, well, the his head's on ice. He's company. not technically but, but dead. He's, he's frozen. Now, it's, but it's Disney, company. Walt Disney was an anti-Semite. Disney. Yep. Disney <laughs> leading the charge. Disney. Well, there's the famous Three Little Pigs, in which the wolf was portrayed as a Jewish peddler. Oh, yeah, wow. that, was, that was my my grandfather's the one that gave him that idea. <laughs> <laughs> But you know Disney what I mean? Welcome like, Nazi director Lenny Reifenstahl to their studios. Wow. Dude, they're, they're, they're Disney, giving... You know Kanye is going to do a Disney movie. Shecky Beagle. <laughs> <laughs> Disney, Disney, Disney is, like, is like righteous about it. They're the which worst. Which is insane. It's, it's literally the equivalent if R. Kelly came out of jail and started being like, <laughs> now... The 15 year old thing is wrong, and I'm gonna put a stop to it. Are we gonna show other people? It's like, buddy, just stop doing it and yeah, shut the fuck shut up. The fuck up. Yeah, yeah. You made your bed, go away. We're gonna Speaking look of, the other way. By the way, and I know, and I know you guys already know this, but Bill Cosby is touring. You know, he's, he's he has yeah. a tour schedule that's so out. So if Cosby yeah. goes on stage and specifically does material about, I can't stand when people put pills in the drinks. You'd be like, dude, come on. No, you think it's funny. You think it's very <laughs> it funny. Is funny. Yeah, see, but, <laughs> my point is, is Disney doesn't have to go. We made mistakes, so now we're going to be the arbiters. Of, so then, what would they do? Just, just continue just, on the just path. Just be better and don't be preaching. I would say they recently get into Look some this, wait, trouble wait. with like gay rights. Or this something? is R. Kelly's lyrics. I admit, I fuck with with the ladies. He sings at one point. That's both older and young ladies. But tell me how they call a pedophile because of that shit. Crazy. You may have your opinion to tell to your opinions, but really, am I supposed to go to jail, lose my career because of your opinion? Let me tell you. This is out of his mouth. Yeah, it's his new this song. Is a song. Yeah. It's is a, he a releasing a, shit from Joe? Joe's a gonna get a tattoo on him. Song. <laughs> Shut up! Yeah, I dude, swear let's to God. go tonight. <laughs> a, Joe's getting these lyrics. Dude, I'm gonna get your man. birthday tattooed I'm on not perfect. me. I'm not perfect. That's <laughs> <laughs> not perfect. The next line just goes. I'm not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I never said I was. What's Sam, the definition of a cult? What's the definition of a sex slave? Go to the dictionary. Look it up. Let me know. I'll be here waiting. He will. I mean, he's in prison. By the way, yeah, he's in prison by the, way, the, the guy life. can write a melody, can he? I mean, none of this is musical at all. No. He's just ranting. You know, he's, did you, you saw the surviving thing? Oh, right? yeah, dude. Did you it see was the one he's on stage, like, literally being, like, pulling him out? Yeah, picking like, him. Who wants to come with Robert? And then he goes, uh, he said, uh, 
Do you? Oh, do you have your passport? <laughs> yeah. Did you get your shots? <laughs> Would you like to wow. come with Robert insane. to America? <laughs> and then people are like me, me, and he's pulling little girls out of the audience. And you didn't see it. And the well, parents were like, "He called her. We let nuts. her go on stage. He, she went, and we never saw her again. And they're gone." Well, before, like, this is in 2014, before any of this even came out about him, um, somebody I know knew R. Kelly and said that R. Kelly would have parties in his mansion in Chicago, and what he would do, these, he was like, un, he was like, this is as true as true can be. He would come out wearing like a crown and a huge adult diaper, swear to God, and come out, and he would have... <laughs> For like hours, like how people have cockfights, he would have I'm midgets. On the edge of my seat. I swear to God, he would have midgets come out and fist fight. Shut up! I swear to Christ, he would have them fist fight each other. All the while, he would be shitting and pissing in this diaper. I swear to God, shitting and pissing in this diaper. Hysterical I crying. They made it up. Hysterical crying. No, this was totally crying. by a reliable because he they said he's completely out of his mind. No, I, no, they said that he's completely. Can't be real. They said he's completely. Listen to what you just said. I, I was listening. To Wait, the man, tell this and, man. And other people are at the party. A, a lot of people are at this party. He he's was, just shitting and pissing in a diaper, it, crying while, yeah. while little people yes. fist fight. And then he would. He had a recording <laughs> studio. And he had a recording studio in his basement. He would go record. He said. He said. 50% of what this man knows, and this guy's a known guy, 50% of what he knows, R. Kelly's albums, like, he said 100%, 100% he was there. I Believe I Can Fly was recorded by R. Kelly with a full diaper of shit and piss. No. <laughs> no, 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 I swear to God. No, no, I swear to God. No with way. A full no diaper. Way. Why would he do that? The source told me. <laughs> But he had why? a full diaper shit and piss because this is a thing that he would do because he's psychotic. The thing is with R. Kelly's, he's a psych, yeah, like he's a, a lunatic. He's a like, lunatic. Like a mentally unstable man. So he would shit and piss in a diaper Can I and tell record you his the first thing albums. I thought of though. Yeah. You know how people <laughs> you know how people like breed pit bulls to fight? Yeah. If he had like a little people breeding crown on his <laughs> 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 it's the image of them busting a little people breeding ground in his basement. Yeah. Okay, look, enough with this. Uh, I love you guys. Love you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. We've got to go. <laughs> On that? Yeah. Yes. yes. We do have to go. That's how you um, And Joe is ready to go. He's got to... <laughs> Joe's got to go. You can just tell you're ready to like lean forward and get out of here. And I want to thank I you. Nice and I hope you, and I, I hope just have to pee. Okay, Are you going to come to Bellato's with us? Yeah, he is. Yes. All right. Do me a favor. Just throw on a diaper and do it right here. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I kind of want to. <laughs> thank you, boys. I love you all. That could love be you. A, uh, never mind. Love you, buddy. Bye. <laughs> I love you. Bye. In here, we pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene.